Hi guys! I've been killing it lately with all of the Ibotta bonuses that have been going on. Last month I received a bonus that was 75 offers for 30 bucks, and that took me quite a while to chew away from. Um, but while I was putting together that big bonus, it, I did find a lot of really cheap, easy to pick up bonuses that have been renewing. So when the rake in the cash came in uh, last week, I believe, I got $10 back for 30 offers, which is a bit lower than what I would usually go chasing after, but I had quite a few cheap scenarios that I had already worked out when I did last month. So I just threw this together on the fly, but it still worked out to be a bit of a money maker. Um, I did have one foul, so it ended up actually being like 30 cents for me. Um, but hopefully for y'all, if you have some coupons or if you got last week's paper, this could be a really good money maker for you. I'm going to be putting a printable breakdown in my drop down on a Google Sheet so that you can see everything and then I'll throw up little breakdowns. So first up, I got this ragu sauce. It was $1.63 and Ibotta has a $0.75 cent back on it so it worked out to $0.88. Cents. And when I'm figuring out what is cheap enough to work into these scenarios, I will take the offer, the big bonus that I'm chasing, and divide it by how many offers I need. So for this one, I needed 25 offers to get back 10 bucks. And then I had a couple other bonuses, like a um, level one, and I think I had a midweek money maker for like a dollar. So after I divided that all by 16, I had about 88 cents per item to work with. So that's a way to kind of keep in the back of your mind when you're figuring out what to chase after, if something's too expensive, or if it's something you might not use, if it's cheaper, so that you can just throw it in there to rack up that big number to hit that bonus. And then next up, I did these no yolks noodles. Uh, they were $1.78, and I bought it has 50 cents back on them, making them $1.28. And they have a bunch of different kinds of these. Next, I got three of these big bags of the Werber's Originals, uh, the Caramel Hard Candies. This is the 5.5 ounce bag. Make sure you grab the right one because there are quite a few different sizes of this guy. There are two 18 each and I got three of them. Ibotta has 125 each, but the reason I got three is Swag Bucks has buy free, get three dollars back, which ended up making these a 21 cent money maker for all three of them. And then next I got the Char Gluten-Free Hazelnut Wafers. Uh, they're 162 each, but Ibotta has 175 back each right now with a limited free, so I got all free because why not? <laughs> so that worked out to be a 39 cent money maker. I got three of them, but I ate one on the way back in the car, so. <laughs> next I have the Kraft Mac and Cheese. This is 98 cents. And Ibotta has only 20 cents back on it, but if you go over to Shopkick, they have 40 cents back on this too. So put in those together makes this just 38 cents for the box. And I buy these anyway, so if this was an easy decision to go ahead and throw one in. And there also is a like a 50 cent bonus if you get four of these. So if you buy them anyway, or if you've done a couple trips, it does work out to be really cheap or even free on these guys. And then next, Ibotta has two different bonuses going on these tiny little four packs of Celestial Seasonings teas. They have, there's two forty nine dollars back on two of each kind. So I got two of the black and two of the green. And these are $1.24 each. So that makes it out to like a cent money maker on both of them. But this is an easy two bonus is to whack out and... I drink tea anyway, so I'll just throw these in my little tea drawer. And next, I got this giant box of Oreo O's. Uh, they were free 98 and Ibotta only has 50 cents back on them, which isn't so great when you're first looking at it. But then over on Shopkick, there is free 20 back on here. 
there are a bunch of post cereals on Shopkick right now. Um, this kind, the Oreo, is the only one that my Walmart carries. But uh, Ibotta has a ton of rebates on different kinds of cereals. So if you can find some of the other kinds, that would also be an easy way to uh, chip in your bonuses. And then next, this is the one I've repeated quite a few times. This is a Sheila's Brownie Brittle. It's like a really crunchy cookie um, brownie. They're $2.88, and you can get like a, I think it's a 10 ounce bag, and it's only $2.98. It's only 10 cents more for like a lot more cookie. But um, I just went with the cheaper one. I bought it has 50 cents back. Oh, I'm sorry, they have a dollar back. And then there is 75 cents back on Fetch. This is one of their pop-up bonuses of the month, and you can repeat that as many times as you want. And then on CoinOut is a little app that you scan receipts, kind of like Fetch, to get points back. They hardly have any like coupon rebates on specific items, but they do have a dollar back on this guy. And you can do up to two a day. So this was 13 cents for just the one. Um, and you could do two, so if you wanted to get two, it'd be 26 cents, but I already have quite a few of these in the house. And then next is another one I've been repeating quite a bit. This is a single serve of the RX Nut Butter. Uh, it was $1.24, and I bought it his 65 cents back on it, which makes it only 59 cents. Uh, do be careful with this one, even though um, it looks like the exact same product on the I bought a picture. There's a blue one that's like um, coconut almond butter. I got that one a couple weeks back and it does not match for some stupid reason. You have to get like a peanut butter one for some reason, even though the I bought it offer says it's any nut butter. So um, with this one, you might want to scan the barcode in the store just to make sure you get the right one. But anyway, so that was 59 cents. And then I got this Skippy squeeze butter. I was $2.47. I bought it had a buck back. And then Swag Bucks had 35 cents back down like way in the bottom of their offers. They have a bunch of random like little 10 and 20 cents back on things like tuna and soap. Um, just I think they release them as like a giving back to the community COVID-19 sort of thing. Um, anyway, so this one worked out to $1.12, and it's not a huge thing of peanut butter, but um, it was cheap enough to get me where I wanted, and it would be nice to throw in the car for, like, trips to, like, the beach or something if you were making lunch. And then another one I've been repeating quite a bit. My husband loves these granola bars. They're $1.93, and I bought a heads uh, buck back on them, which makes them only $0.93. Cents. So that's a really cheap snack. And then next I got the Powerade Ultra. It's a dollar. And I bought it has 20 cents back, which makes it only 80 cents. And then for the regular Powerade, these guys are... What are these guys? These guys are 74 cents each. There's an Ibotta rebate to buy two. Get 44 cents back, which makes them $1.04 for both of them. And then I don't have a dishwasher, but some of my family does, so I've been picking this guy up. Uh, this is the Lemmy Shine Dish Detergent Booster. It is $8.28, which is kind of expensive, but um, I bought it his $2 back on this guy. And then over on Shopkick, they have a whopping $6.40 back, which actually makes this a $0.22 cent money maker. There's also a tiny one that's like half the size of this, and Ibotta has like a dollar back. And Shopkick has like three fifty dollars back, which makes it like a dollar money maker. So if your store carries both of those, that would be a great deal. And then next up in the soap category, I got this Ajax Ultra. It was $1.78. And I bought it has 40 cents back, making it 138. And I go through dish soap like crazy, so this was an easy one to throw in my cart. And then an easy little freebie. I bought it has a free offer on this 184 back on the Oikos Pro uh, 25 gram protein shake. 
Um, this is the strawberry banana one, but it works on any flavor. I know they have a coffee one and a caramel macchiato one. So I threw this one in, and I've actually already gotten this free offer and it reset again. So keep an eye on this if you like this kind of thing, because it's probably going to pop back up in your gallery and you can get more than one for free. And then I got another one of these little perfect bars. This is $1.98, and Ibotta has a buck back, making it $0.98. Cents. If you haven't done it before, I know Ibotta is always running free item promos on this, so you might have an option to get this just for free, or it might be more than the dollar back. I've purchased this quite a few times from Ibotta, and I've noticed that the more times you repurchase an item, the lower your offers start to fall. So uh, keep an eye out for that, and you might get an actually better deal on this guy. Then another easy little freebie, I got two of these Let Me Shine dishwasher cleaners. They're two for 48 each. Ibotta has $2 back on each, and then Swagbucks has four back when you buy two, which makes them a dollar or four money maker if you get two of them, or if you only got one, or if you don't use Swagbucks, it'll only be 48 cents for the one, which is still a really good deal. And next up, because I need more Trust Me Shampoo, I have a shelf in my garage that's full to the brim of this stuff just because we have so many coupons on this. Uh, but this is free 88. Uh, Ibotta had a buck back, and uh, Shopkick has a buck back, and then coupons.com has $2 back, uh, which made it a 12 cent money maker. And then I know some um, Tresemme coupons came out recently. I think they might have been in the 1004 Smart Source. So if you have one of those, that would make it an even better deal. And then kind of same deal with the Suave Kids Shampoo. It's 188. I bought it had a dollar back, and then coupons.com had a dollar fifty back, which made this guy a sixty-two cent money maker. This next one got a bit messed up. I was going after this bundle on Shopkick for this swap shampoo, which is two ninety-four for the uh, almond chia butter, and then the suave ocean breeze uh, body wash, and this one's one fifty-two. I had a dollar back on Ibotta on this guy, but by the time I got home, it disappeared. When they say an uh, offer's going to expire at midnight, sometimes it'll randomly disappear at like 6 or 7 or 8 p.m., which is not great if you're going out to the store. Um, I'm not going to chase after Ibotta uh, help center with this one, but if that ever does happen to you, just take a picture of your receipt and tell them, hey, I had this and I bought it and it was there, but by the time I got home, it was gone and they'll usually credit you back, uh, but I'm not gonna chase after just a buck with them. Anyway, so if this had gone to plan, it would have been 76 cents for the pair because Shopkick had 260 back on um, the pair of them. So I still got my bit from Shopkick, so this made it um, a buck 76, which is not terrible, but for Suave, it's so easy to get cheap. And then this is another one had a coupon in the last paper. I think they had a dollar off this one and probably a 50 cent off the body wash is what they usually do when those come out. So if you have those, definitely jump on this one. Got this big six pack of the Lover 2000 bar soap. This guy is free 97. I bought I had a dollar back and then Shopkick had two dollars and ten cents back making this 87 cents for six bars which is a pretty good deal. Another one that I repeat all the time while I'm chasing these bonuses uh, the Butterfinger is 88 cents at my Walmart. Um, I bought it has 25 cents back making this only only 63 cents for this guy. And then another little freebie that's just for Shopkick, nothing to do with Ibotta, but I've been picking them up just because uh, this is a Suave Powder Antiperspirant. It's 88 cents, and Shopkick has 98 cents back on it, making it a little 20 cent money maker. And these are nice just to throw in your bag, like um, if you're going to work or to the gym or just using it as a regular deodorant. And then very last, this is one I switched in because I was going to get some of the uh, Terra potato chips. Yeah, buck 48 and then I bought it has 75 cent on them. 
which made them only 73 cents, which had been a really nice deal, but my store was out of them. Um, it's like a tiny little bag, so it was probably hiding somewhere up front. I usually use the uh, Walmart grocery pickup site just to see what's in stock and if my store carries it while I'm making out my list before I go, just to make sure I don't have any surprises. Uh, but it can be really hard to find the, like, the little packs of the like to-go sized things. They hide them in the weirdest places, so half the time I just have to give up and swap in a different offer. Um, anyway, so last minute I ended up doing this Dr. Pepper. Um, it was $1.88 and I bought a head 30 cents back making it a buck 58 which isn't great but i drink dr pepper and then because of what happened with my shampoo debacle i had perfectly planned my trip to have 25 offers just to hit that um, 10 dollar bonus but since i'm missing one uh, for that shampoo so for that last one to hit my ten dollar bonus i have a couple days left on it but i just want to get it taken care of now because i don't like be sitting with just like one left on such a big um, rebate so i'm going to be getting the noosa greek yogurt uh, from safeway it's a buck 49 and they have a half off just for you coupon and then i bought it has 50 cents back on it so that's going to make it only 24 cents so after everything is said and done i got all my receipts scanned i got uh 8.85 back from swag bucks I got 87 cents back from Fetch. I got some bonus points besides the rebate on the cookies for some of the swap products because that's one of the uh, brands that they showcase. Um, I got a dollar back on coin out for the brownies. I got 16.58 from Shopkick. And then I got 4.50 back on coupons.com. And then for the Ibotta, I got $32.61 from rebates and then $10 from the uh, bonus that I hit. And I also got a dollar for I got a dollar for a midweek moneymaker and 50 cents for hitting level one. And that, that's worked into the $32.61 I just mentioned. So my entire total for this whole trip was uh, $76. And after subtracting all of those rebates, that boils down to 31 cents. I'm going to flip you around so you can see the spread in front of me because it's quite impressive for what I spent. So I've been getting spoiled by last month's bonuses and been getting a ton of like $5 money makers, $12 money makers, which means makes all of this for 31 cents not quite as exciting, but but man, you can't argue with that. I mean, I got a huge thing of cereal, all of these candies, teas. I mean, this is basically a dinner right here. Um, soap, cookies, drinks. You just can't turn up your nose again. 75 bucks of groceries back for free like this. And this is all stuff I'll use. Um, maybe not so much the kid shampoo, but everything else is stuff that our household will use or my um, family will use like this dishwasher cleaner. Um, thank you for watching. Like I said, I'll be putting that printable breakdown in the drop down. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and we can chat. Bye.